So, a very quick video tonight. Right in front of you see a AMD, I think you can see that. Mm, let's shift over here, yeah, now you can see it well. An AMD FPU, it's an 8287, it's a math co-processor for our 286. It's got 12MHz, so it should fit nicely with our 12MHz machine. And we will see how much this will be able to well, accelerate some pieces of software. We'll test this on Autodesk AutoSketch 3.1, which can and will make heavy use of the FPU for drawing. And yeah, back then the machines were really slow. There was no such thing as real-time 3D graphics. Well, there was, but in very simple forms. We'll come back to that in later review, maybe of an old flight simulator or something. But this here is more or less plug and play. Put it in and the system will detect it. Let's hope it still works because I don't know. This is probably plugged from some old motherboard. Yeah. So I'm gonna plug it in and we'll have a benchmark. The first thing that we are running now is AutoSketch. You have to install it twice, once without floating point support and then again with floating point support. You can't switch those versions on runtime. You have to basically reinstall it. First it asks for uh, the mouse or the pointing device, the video mode, here we choose VGA, and of course also the color scheme, and we tell it that we want scroll bars and please we don't have a printer yet, but that can change. We will start now a second video with the floating point support actually, in a split screen. Left is the version without the floating point support and right with floating point support. The mouse was a bit jumpy, I think AutoSketch doesn't like my version of the Microsoft mouse driver, but yeah, I will fix that at a later point. It doesn't, and it doesn't influence the performance. Okay, so I chose the mountain bike basically, and on the left you can see without the FPU it really struggles. On the right we already have the second wheel drawn, the, 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 um, all the spokes are being drawn, and this program really needs those uh, floating point units because it's uh, drawing a lot of curves and they are probably using yeah, PC curves or something and using floating point to represent all the polynomials. Yeah, the right is almost finished and it's Done. The mouse cursor reappears while the left is still not finished at all. I sped this up here by a factor of 8 to make it not uh, so strenuous on you. And let's have a look at Dr. Hardware and what it says about our PC now. And basically, yeah, it's really slow still. It shows some Pentium um, 200 megahertz and K6 for comparison and we get like seven times the performance of a original PC and yeah a fraction of that of a Pentium or a similar class machine and you don't want to know how much slower this is than the i7. And another look at the whole thing we have now the VGA saying installed one gigabyte of compact flash two megabytes of RAM and yeah the floating point unit is also recognized 12 megahertz both that's pretty neat, I would say. And we will have a little short look at another program that can use the FPU, and that is Fragdent. Again, on the left side we see the version without the FPU, and on the right side the version with the FPU. As you can see, the FPU algorithm here is much slower, which is because uh, the Mandelbrot fractals can be computed very efficiently using only integers, and the name of the program fract int also suggests that they're using an optimized integer algorithm basically. So all in all we can say that some programs will uh, speed up quite a lot, like up to 10 times using the FPU on the 287, but a lot of programs just simply don't use the FPU at all or will not have a big advantage compared to a standard AT or PC without the FPU. So if you are building your own, 
kit, then you probably don't need the FPU. But if you get a board with an FPU or get a FPU for very cheap, then it's certainly fun to install it and be able to run some of the legacy CAD software much faster. That's it for the moment. Thank you, good night, share, like and subscribe if you want, and see you next time.